Hello friends, welcome to my lab. In this video, I will show you the short circuit test of a transformer and the vector diagram and equivalent circuit diagram of the transformer at short circuited condition. If you love my video, please like it and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Let's switch on. In my previous video, I have shown the open circuit test of this transformer. You can find the link in description. I have also shown the vector diagram and equivalent circuit diagram of that transformer. Please watch it before watching this video. For this experiment, we need a single phase variac, an ammeter for measuring the primary load current and a low range voltmeter for measuring the primary voltage of the transformer. And we need an wattmeter for measuring the copper loss of the transformer at short circuited condition. The wattmeter should be connected in 10 ampere position and the voltage rating should be 150 volt. For this voltage and current rating, the multiplying factor will be 2. That means we have to multiply 2 with the indicated reading. And we need a transformer. We have to connect the high voltage side with the instruments. You can see the high voltage side is connected to the instrument and the low voltage side that means 115 volt side is short circuited by the thick wires. I have connected two wire by paralleling and we will use this clip on ammeter for measuring the current of the short circuited secondary terminal of the transformer. So this is our experimental setup of the short circuit test of a single phase transformer. Basically the short circuit test is done for measuring the copper loss of the transformer and few parameters like total resistance and total reactance referred to primary and the short circuit impedance can be calculated. By finding out the parameters, we have to draw the vector diagram and the equivalent circuit diagram of the transformer. So you can see this is the circuit diagram of the experiment, the short circuit test of a single phase transformer. Now let's connect it virtually. For this experiment, we need a 230 volt by 115 volt transformer. The high voltage side of the transformer will be connected with the measuring instruments and the low voltage side will be short circuited because the rated current will be low in high voltage side when compared to the rated current in low voltage side. So the low voltage side should be sorted. Now single phase 240 volt supply is connected with a single phase variac. From variac it is connected with the M terminal of a watt meter. The M and C terminal of the watt meter is sorted. The L terminal of the wattmeter is connected with an ammeter. From ammeter it is connected with high voltage side and from high voltage side it is connected with the variac again. The V terminal of the wattmeter is connected with the common terminal of the variac. A voltmeter is connected across the high voltage side of the transformer. Now the secondary low voltage side is to be sorted with a thick wire so that it can carry a huge amount of load current. First of all the input terminal of the variac is connected with 240 volt AC supply and the secondary terminal of the variac is connected with an ammeter from ammeter it is connected with the m terminal of the wattmeter you can see the m terminal of the wattmeter now the mc terminal of the wattmeter is sorted and the l terminal of the wattmeter is connected with high voltage side of the transformer and another terminal of the high voltage side is connected with neutral terminal of the variac. The low voltage side is short circuited. Across the high voltage side we have connected a low range voltmeter. You can see the low range voltmeter is connected across it and the V terminal that means 150 volt terminal of the wattmeter is connected with the neutral terminal of the variac. So this is our connection for this experiment. Now let's switch on the supply to the variac. And now by keeping eyes on the voltmeter, we have to increase the supply voltage. It should be noted that the high voltage side of the transformer should not be connected with the rated supply voltage because the transformer secondary side is short circuited. So at this voltage, a huge amount of current will flow through the secondary and it will cause a fire outbreak or the transformer may explode. So we will gradually increase the supply voltage up to 10% of the rated voltage that means 10% of 230 volt that means 23 volt only the transformer is carrying huge amount of primary current about 10 ampere current you can see the primary voltage is 
ट्वेंटी थ्री वोल्ट ओनली एंड द प्राइमरी लोड का रेंट इज अबाउट नाइन पॉइंट टू एम पी आर द वाट मीटर रीडिंग ऑफ द ट्रांसफॉर्मर इज हंड्रेड वाट इंटू टू दैट मीन्स टू हंड्रेड वाट दिस वाटेज इज ओनली फॉर कॉपर लॉस ऑफ द ट्रांसफॉर्मर नाउ लेट्स मेजर द सेकेंडरी लोड का रेंट एंड यू कैन सी द लोड का रेंट इज अबाउट सिक्सटीन पॉइंट जीरो नाइन एम पी आर नाउ आवर एक्सपेरिमेंट इज डन एंड वी हैव टू कलेक्ट दिस रीडिंग्स एंड वी हैव टू फिल अप द ऑब्जर्वेशन टेबल द वोल्टेज रीडिंग ऑफ द हाई वोल्टेज प्राइमरी साइड इज ट्वेंटी थ्री वोल्ट द एम मीटर रीडिंग इज नाइन पॉइंट टू एम पी आर एंड द वाट मीटर रीडिंग इज टू हंड्रेड वाट द सेकेंडरी एम मीटर रीडिंग इज फोर्टीन एम पी आर नाउ बाई यूजिंग दिस डेटा वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द टोटल रेजिस्टेंस रेफर टू प्राइमरी दैट मीन्स आर and the total short circuit impedance of the transformer that means z01 or zsc and the total reactance referred to primary that means x01 now by dividing the primary voltage that means vsc and primary current isc we can easily calculate the short circuit impedance that means 2.5 ohm to calculate the total equivalent resistance referred to primary we have to divide the watt meter reading with the square of the ammeter reading that means it will be 2.36 ohm from short circuit impedance and total resistance referred to primary we can easily calculate the x01 that means total equivalent reactance referred to primary and it will be 0.825 ohm now this data is enough for drawing the vector diagram of the transformer and the equivalent circuit of the transformer on short circuit test condition and this is the vector diagram of the transformer on short circuited secondary you can see the no load primary current is 0.95 ampere and we have measured it from open circuit test the primary load current i2 dash is 9.2 ampere and the secondary current i2 is 14 ampere i2 dash and i2 are in anti phase with each other the resultant of the no load current i0 and load current i2 dash is the primary current of the transformer that means i1 the i1 and i2 dash will near about same because the no load primary current is negligibly small and this was our vector diagram of the transformer on no load and we have measured it from the open circuit test of the transformer you can see the no load current has two components only that means i mu and i w and there were no load current components that means the no load primary current was the only primary current taken by the transformer now you can see this is the equivalent circuit diagram of the transformer at short circuit test this circuit contains only the total equivalent resistance referred to primary total equivalent reactance referred to primary and the combination of these two is the short circuit impedance now this experiment is performed and this transformer is too much hot so we have to handle it with care and now let's reduce the voltage and switch off the supply the total experimental procedure the theory part and what to write in your lab sheet is given in the website you can find the link in description till then stay tuned with us jai hind jai bharat